Hello guys, I hope you are doing good. Welcome to this new video. Today we are going to solve one machine coding question in React. We have already solved this question in vanilla JavaScript where we have to create a search with auto suggestion. The question read as we should have an input box where we can type something and as you type you will get x number of suggestions that suggestion you have to show below the input box and once you click on any of the suggestion that value should be populated back in the input area the suggestion area where the suggestion list will be displayed it should be visible only when once we put the input box in focus otherwise it should be hidden also we will get a mock api server that will take the text and it will return us the list of suggestion. It will return the suggestion with the latency of 0 to 200 milliseconds. So there can be a delay in expecting the suggestion. Also, it can fail sometimes. So the mock server will mimic the actual network calls. The mock server is present over here. As you can see, the get suggestion method, it returns a new promise. It will take the text and it will return a suggestion based on the text it receives. As we have already solved this problem in vanilla JavaScript, I highly recommend you going through that first so that you understand what are the, how you create or how you solve this problem in vanilla JavaScript. And after that, once we solve this in react, you will see what is the difference while we are using a framework rather than using a uh, writing the uh, thing in vanilla javascript from scratch so let's get started here as you can see i have the style ready i have the input area as well as the suggestion area ready so as per the feature list this suggestion area should be only visible when the input is in focus so we don't have to show this always it should be visible only when the input is in focus so let's create a state over here const suggestion area visible set suggestion area visibility so i'm going to create a state and by default i'll keep the value as false and this will determine if the suggestion area will be visible or not so as its value is false by default the suggestion area won't be visible if i click on run you will see that it will be hidden okay now as the input gets in focus we have to show the area so i'll on the focus event what i'll do is i invoke this update state method and pass the value as true so once we are in the focus the state will update it will set the visible uh, suggestion area visible to true and the suggestion area will be visible see as i put it in focus it becomes visible now when i go out of the focus or i blur the input area it should hide the suggestion area so let's add an event for that as well so on blur in case the input area goes on blur or out of focus we have to hide the suggestion so false so when i put it in focus the suggestion area is visible if i click outside it becomes hidden now as I type something, I have to fetch the data from the get suggestions that is our mock server and we have to display the list inside the suggestion area. If we click on any of the suggested item, we have to populate the input area with that. So let's tackle the first thing when user is typing, let's handle that and store the text so that we can use it to make the api call so here 
let me create const handle change function and from that let me extract the value from the target so e dot target dot value returns us the value of the input so this will give us the value of this text now let me make this a control component because when we click on any of the suggested list we have to update the value so if we make this input control component then only we can update its value dynamically we can also update it through reference but it's better that we make it a control component so that the behavior is r under control so search query and then set search query and initially we'll keep it as empty string now this search query will be the value for this input and as the query changes we'll update the state with the value so if i run this you'll see that as a type it is being persisted now we got the value as in we got the search query now using this we have to get the suggestion list so let me create a helper function over here make api call that will text this query that will get this query and it will do the network call on the mock server for us so console dot here i am handling the error error while making an api call and then or error while getting suggestions list and we print the error i am making this as a sync function because uh, our suggestion get suggestions mock server it returns a promise so it is easier to handle in the async function so i'll get the response get suggestions i'll pass the query to it it will return me the suggestion list so let's await and now once i get the list what i'll do is i'll create a state where i'll store the list so const list set list or update list you can call it anything and as it will return us an array of suggestions so i am keeping the default state as empty array and here i'll invoke the update list and update it with the response or whatever value i'll receive in case we receive error so what i'll do is here i'll update it with the empty array or reset the state so that no suggestions are displayed now that our suggestion list is populated in the state we can use this list and then we can go inside the suggestion area and we can map it and here we can render multiple div childs with the value so once we get the suggestion the list will be updated once the list is updated we create multiple list items from it and it will be displayed under the suggestion area so let's run this and see if things are working fine so if you see as a type currently nothing is happening let's check why are we getting response or not so we are awaiting okay we have went invoke the make api call so as we type we have to invoke this make api call so that the request is made so let me call this function under the handle change so here i'll call this function now as a type you see we are getting the suggestion list but if i click on the suggestion list you see that the suggestion area is getting hidden because the input goes out of focus it is blurred so the suggestion area is hidden that's why 
if i assign the click event on this list items before the event is fired or the click event is fired on this the blur events fire first so this suggestion area gets hidden that's why we will not be able to handle the click event the event itself does not trigger so let's do that let's see if it is working on this div let me assign a click event so on click handle i am invoking this handle click with the value because we have to get this value on each event of the list item and that value we have to populate back in the input query sorry in the input box that's why i am getting this value over here and then we are rendering the div once the div is rendered we have assigned the handle click that handle click accepts the suggestion text and then this will use to update the input value so let me create const handle click or rather than doing this explicitly and handling what we can do is we can directly call this set search query over here and this will update the text itself it will update the input text because input is a control element so that updated value will be visible to the input so we don't have to create an additional wrapper function or helper function to handle this we can do it directly over here so if i click on run again you will see that we are getting the suggestion list but as i click on any of that the things are not working fine so for this what we will do is we will remove the on blur event because we have to handle the click rather what i'll do is i'll assign a click event on the window and i'll monitor the click events that click event will work only if we are in the input focus or in the suggestion area if the click event has happened outside these two elements then the suggestion area will be hidden so let me create two references over here because with references we will check what has been clicked so input reference using use ref and then suggestion area reference now let me pass these references to the respective elements so to the input i am passing the input ref and then to the suggestion area I am passing the suggestion area ref. Both are passed. Now, inside the use effect hook, I am going to assign the event listener. So, window dot add event listener, and that is click event. And here inside this function we'll check if e dot target is not equal to input ref so if we are not in the input or input is not in the focus if e dot target is not equal to suggestion area ref so even if we are not clicking on the suggestion area anywhere then if both if you have clicked anywhere on the window and the target is not any of these that is input ref and suggestion area ref then we have to update the state and we have to set this set suggestion area visibility to false now this will take care of the click event because as we have assigned the visibility hidden on the on blur so because on blur was getting fired before the click event on this suggestion list the suggestion area was getting hidden as the state was updating before the click event could happen so now what will happen is the click event will work and because we are clicking on suggestion area so it won't hide the suggestion this condition won't match and then the state won't be updated and our suggestion area won't be hidden in the cleanup let me remove the listener so here return and then window dot remove listener click 
and then this function so we are removing the click event in the memory cleanup in the unmount event under the use effect now if i run this you will see that the input area itself is hidden there is some error i guess error while getting suggestion list okay clear run this again so we have assigned ref equals to input ref and here suggestion area ref so suggestion area ref is there if we dot target not equals to input ref and suggestion ref we have to set this visibility as false so if i click this the moment i am clicking it i am getting an error so here in the console window dot remove listener remove so remove event listener is the culprit so it was remove event listener i have mistyped it as remove listener that's why it was not working So right now when we are getting into the focus this is still not working let me run this again so if we dot target window dot add event listener click e if we dot target not equals to input ref or suggestion area we have to set the visibility as false so it comes in focus and then it is going out and here we have passed the reference on focus is there on change is there and then suggestion area visible we are passing the reference the problem here is this equality check is not working because use ref returns an object where we have to access the current property to check so this current property holds the reference value so we have to access this current property to do the equality check and now if you see the moment i click on the input box the suggestion area is visible if i click outside it becomes hidden but if i click on the suggestion area nothing happens so if i type something over here and if i click on that you see that that suggestion value is populated into the input area so things are working fine now respective to the vanilla js here you will see that with react it is very easy to handle the states and update the value and do the dynamic rendering of or the conditional rendering of the elements so that's why using a framework proves very handy while doing the development as it provides set of tools using which we can make or we can do the development very fast i hope you have learned something new today Thank you for your time.